TrophyPursuit.com, brought to you by Upwind Odor Elimination. Hi there, welcome to TrophyPursuit.com. It's finally the day that I know many of you have been waiting for, the day that we air the footage of the Franz Buck. Uh, we feel very blessed and very fortunate to be able to share this footage with you. Joe Franz, as you know, killed an absolutely incredible whitetail just a week and a half ago here in southern Iowa, a deer that uh, we feel like deserves to be shared with the world. Team member Derek Wilgerson was behind the camera. Derek did an amazing job of documenting uh, the hunt. The footage is absolutely incredible, and I think you're really going to like it. To those of you who are new to Trophy Pursuit and our website, make sure to stick around a while and check out some of our web shows that we've already posted. Uh, I think this will be the 40th web show of the year, so we're really cranking them out. Uh, I feel so blessed and fortunate to have a team of men and women who have a strong passion for documenting their hunt, and they're laying down some incredible footage. With a lot of season left, there's still going to be a lot of videos coming, coming onto the website, and uh, you'll have to be sure to check them out. Before we dive into the hunt, I have to give a big shout out to Wild Game Innovations. They've done a great job this week of helping spread the word of this tremendous whitetail and telling people where to come and watch that. Lastly, I want to wish you the best of luck this fall, and I want to thank you for checking out TrophyPursuit.com, where the hunt never ends. We made the switch to Wild Game trail cameras, and now it seems like everyone's making the switch. Team Elk made the switch, and they can't express enough how impressed they are with Wild Game's performance. And these guys push their trail cameras to the extreme in the harsh western terrain that they hunt. If they work for them, they'll work in your whitetail woods. Take it from us and others in the hunting industry making the switch. Once in a lifetime, likely never in a lifetime, we as hunters have an opportunity to pursue the top of the top, the peak of the mountain, a buck that exceeds even what we imagine in our dreams. In today's world, when a buck like that is finally killed, it is not a result of happenstance, of the buck living an anonymous life. Rather, it is a culmination of a series of events that create a true legacy. It is a shared story amongst many, hushed words amongst neighbors, years of encounters, of shed antlers, of strategy, all coming into alignment for one lucky hunter. While the story of this buck's legacy is long, only one hunter was fortunate to write the final chapter. Today, we'll witness the final days of a truly remarkable whitetail's life and close the book on one of the largest whitetails to ever walk free range in Iowa. A whitetail that the world deserves to see. It's October 4th, first full weekend of bow season. We have a monster on my farm. We've got several trail cam pictures of them. We're going to head up to a food plot that I have. We're going to sit in a shadow hunter or tower blind. We're going to see what happens. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah, let's do it.
there he, there he is. Oh my God. He's coming this way. He's coming to the right. He's, he's starting, he's starting to come. starting to rain so we're gonna walk over here and see if we can't locate some blood go from there we're gonna back out we're gonna come back later a, a buck of a lifetime yeah baby yes. <sighs> the first blood right here has a little bit of corn in it so we're wondering if he didn't hit a little far back but there's really good blood going through the grass here, so we're pretty confident. But we're gonna err on the side of caution even though it is raining. I think he's dead, but you just gotta be gotta be very careful. Hey there, Derek. I know, that's pretty good blood pretty quick. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And I think it must have come up. I mean, I just... Which way? Found him? Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Talk about growth. No ground shrinkage here, man. That is unreal. Did I smoke him? Good job. Oh my, where do you put the tag at? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's like a moose. It doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't fit. fit. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if you understand what you just done. To my knowledge. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank God for this wonderful opportunity. Truly, a buck of a lifetime. All you can do is just be in awe. And I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Derek because if it wasn't for Derek, I probably wouldn't have shot this deer with his vast experience and uh, di trying to discipline me. Um, it was a little tough at times, but uh, again, thank God. As a hunter, each of us are passionate about the pursuit, about the chase, about the opportunity to do what we love. Hunting shouldn't be a game of inches or bragging rights, but instead an outlet to quench a never-ending thirst that is etched into our DNA. Whether or not we wrap our tag around a big doe, a 260, or nothing at all, we are the lucky ones, for we are able to experience what most will never understand, to sit 20 foot closer to God, to become one with nature. This is a never-ending pursuit. This is our trophy pursuit.